Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog. This week is a few different things. Number one, I'm taking the week off of work. Um, it's been a very long time since I took any time off that wasn't already a holiday for the university. Um, and I have been definitely needing some time off in a way. Um, I am still working from home <laughs> and my attitude before uh, when work from home started was, if I'm going to be home anyway, why would I take time off? A year into this work from home thing, my attitude is very different. <laughs> I, I need a break. I need a break. So I took this week off of work. Um, so I'm on vacation this week. Second thing that this week is, is it is my birthday week. Uh, my birthday is on Tuesday. So that's really another reason why I took the time off is so I didn't have to work on my birthday because he wants to work on their birthday. And then the third thing that this week is, it is Bout of Books. It's actually Bout of Books 31, which I think is such a huge coincidence because I am turning 31 this week on Tuesday um, and I decided to participate. Um, I found out about Bout of Books 31 after I'd already like was planning to take this week off. And I thought to myself, what's a more perfect way to spend my staycation birthday than actually reading as much as I can. Bout of Books was actually my first ever readathon back in 2016. Um, and I am so excited to be participating again. If you don't know about Bout of Books, it's just an excuse to read as much as you can. There really isn't any um, set challenges or themes or anything like that. It's just a week of reading um, and I am excited to participate. Bout of Books actually starts tomorrow the 10th and goes through next Sunday the 16th. So I'll be starting my reading tomorrow, but I wanted to share with you my TBR for the week. On here I have two short story collections and three novels. Um, a lot of these books are on my summer reading list for 2021. Um, which I will leave a link in the description to that blog post if you want to know which books I want to focus on this summer. Um, and I'm excited to spend my week of my birthday reading. Of course, there will probably be other things happening this week. I will definitely be going on some runs. Um, we'll probably be going out at some point for maybe a meal or something for my birthday. I don't really know. I just know during my spare time this week, which will hopefully be a lot of it, I want to be reading. Look at what Snowy's doing <laughs> as I'm filming. <laughs> this is my my view while I'm talking to the camera. She's just looking out the window. Smell all the smells. <laughs> Anywho, let's jump into the books. First up is The Complete Stories by Flannery O'Connor. I am not planning to finish this entire book. Uh, this is a book that I've actually been working on since March 2019, so over two years. Um, and by working on, I mean actively reading it maybe for a few days <laughs> out of those two years. Um, I've picked this up and put this down quite often. Um, as the title suggests, it is all of the stories that Flannery O'Connor wrote during her lifetime. Um, and I would like to read a few more of these. So my hope is to read uh, one each day of the readathon. They vary in length. I would say on average they're about 20 pages long, so it'll be easy enough to pick up and enjoy one of these stories and see if I can connect with some. Some of these I have really enjoyed and others I'm like, eh. I think these are in chronological order, so I think as I continue on and her writing kind of develops, um, maybe I will you know, enjoy more of the stories. The next story I actually have uh, up is A Good Man is Hard to Find, which I know is one of her more famous stories. So I'm excited to read that first and, ho and hopefully that will set me off on a good note with that. But yes, I would like to read one of these stories each day of the readathon. I will be nowhere near the finish <laughs> of this book by the end of the readathon. Um, but hopefully it will encourage me to pick up this book a little bit more often. I would love to finish this, you know, maybe by the end of the summer or something. I think I maybe have like 20 more stories or so in this collection. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> the next one is also a short story collection and it's called Meet Cute, which is edited by Jennifer L. Armentrout and has a slew of YA authors. Um, in this, uh, again, I just thought it'd be a really fun way 
to incorporate my reading throughout the week. Um, there are 14 short stories in here, so I'm going to be reading two a day. So in total, I should be reading three short stories a day, which will be interesting. Um, I haven't read a short story collection in a very, very long time outside of dabbling through this one. So because I'm going to be so intentional with reading uh, more short stories, I'm interested to see how I'll feel about them. But yeah, two short story collections on the TBR. As for my novels, I have three of them. Um, the first one is The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai. Um, and this is, I think, a hate to love romance, which we love. Um, I, I would really love to have a contemporary. I'm a big fan of contemporary. Um, and I've been really into reading more heavily romance influenced contemporary uh, this year. Um, so I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. This one came out in January of this year um, and I picked it up in my book of the month box. So I'm excited to give it a whirl and see what I think. The next novel is The Anomaly by Michael Rutger. I've had this on my shelf since 2018. Um, uh, according, it's another book of the month uh, book and it's from June, 2018. So almost three years. Uh, I've had this just sitting on my shelf um, and I am choosing to go with this book because it is my most recent pull from my TBR jar. If you saw my reading vlog from a few months ago, you'll know that I'm trying to read more of the books out of that TBR jar because I created it so long ago and there's still so many books in there uh, from years and years ago that I haven't gotten to yet. So hopefully that will encourage me to pick up some of my more backlisted books. Um, but this was my most recent poll and I'm really excited because I remember being so pumped about this book. It's a, uh, thriller and I think it has to do with, uh, hikers who get lost in like a canyon or a cave of some kind. And I'm very intrigued. Um, it looks like the chapters in this are extremely short, so I know it's gonna be really fast paced. So I'm really looking forward to that. I also have picked up the audiobook from the library for this one. Um, this is the only book on my TBR that I could find an audiobook from the library for. Um, so it'll be good once I get to this book to have that in my back pocket um, because I do have some other things that I need to do this week. I do need to finish up that quilt I was working on in my last vlog. And I feel like having this to listen to while I'm working on that quilt um, and maybe doing some other things will be a good multitask. So we'll see, we'll see. But I'm excited to get to this one for sure. And then the last book on my TBR for Bad of Books is, it's one of my newest additions to my unread book collection, um, but that is uh, Last Summer at the Golden Hotel by Alyssa Friedland. Um, and I, I got this in my May book of the month box and I'm really excited for this one uh, because it kind of gives off um, Dirty Dancing slash Marvelous Mrs. Maisel kind of vibes. It's really based on um, kind of like the heyday of summer vacationing in like the cat skills. Um, so like folks who go to these like really fancy resorts for the summer with their families. Um, and I am all about those kinds of vibes. Uh, we're getting into the summer months here. Um, I mean, it's still pretty early on in May, <laughs> but I am excited for summer. So I'm hoping this will put me right in a summery mood. And I feel like this is gonna be a really fun one. So I'm really hoping that I connect well with this book. So these are the books that I will be focusing on over the next week. Um, we will see how successful I am <laughs> in getting them read. Um, like I said, I am not planning on at least finishing this one, but hopefully for the most part I can get through all of them or at least start all of them. I think the main goal of my week this week is just to do things that make me happy for my birthday week. That's really what I want to do. Um, so I'm really looking forward to spending some time with my books and just relaxing over the next week as I celebrate turning 31. Good morning and happy Monday. It is uh, day one of Bad of Books 31 and it's the uh, start of a new week. I'm out on a morning walk with Miss Snowy and I actually do have quite a lot of things that I want to accomplish today um, outside of reading. <laughs> so we'll see how well reading goes. Um, I need to do the laundry. I would like to go on a three mile run. 
Um, I need to film an intro, an outro to my Run to Escape series uh, review, which I hope by the time you're seeing this vlog, it's posted. Um, so I just got like a lot of little things that I got to get done. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll get through them. Um, but on top of all of that, I do have a lot of reading I want to do. Um, with every uh, one of the books that I showed you guys yesterday, um, in order for me to finish all of them, meaning read seven stories from Flannery O'Connor and then finish the other four books, I have to average just under 200 pages a day, which because I am not working this week, I think is doable. Um, but on top of everything else that I would like to accomplish this week, um, between cleaning and, um, you know, enjoying my birthday um, and finishing up that quilt project. Um, it's gonna be a busy week, um, but busy in a good way. <laughs> um, busy doing things that, you know, need to get accomplished and things that I've been wanting to get accomplished for a very long time, so. So we're starting the, the week off with a walk with Snowy. I got my water to sip on while we walk because after this we're probably gonna go get some coffee and maybe a breakfast sandwich you know my usual morning routine um, I do need to go grocery shopping today because we're a little barren <laughs> so I want to go get some groceries today so I'm not just like at home by myself and, and then starving all week <laughs> um, and not having to like constantly go out to get food um, so lots to be done today but we'll get through it all and we're also gonna be Really productive with our reading. We're manifesting it. <laughs> All right, coffee acquired. Snowy's walked. She's sleeping on the floor. <laughs> um, and I am going to get started with my reading. I'm going to start with some short stories. I'm going to read the first two short stories in Meet Cute. Um, and they are called Siege Etiquette and Print Shop. Uh, Siege Etiquette is by Katie Katugno who wrote Nine Nine Days, which I did enjoy. And then Print Shop is by Nina LaCour, and I've enjoyed a couple of her books as well. So I am excited to start off the readathon with some cute YA short stories. Um, and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, first reading task of the day is done. I got through the first two stories of Meet Cute, and they're just super easy breezy to get through so I'm really glad that I chose a YA contemporary short story collection to kind of like get me warmed up for uh, the rest of the day of reading. I would say of the two that I read I liked Print Shop a little bit better than Siege Etiquette but neither of them like really had me swooning or falling in love with them quite yet so I'm hoping that uh, there will be at least a few of the stories in here that I'll, I'll really really enjoy. It's always a, a toss-up with short story collections. You either really love a lot of them, only love like one, maybe you'll hate the whole collection. It's you really don't know what you're walking into in terms of like what you'll get because there are just so many different writers, so many different approaches to the topic of the collection, so we'll see. I also received a gift in the mail today. It is my birthday week. And I'm pretty sure these are for my mom. I haven't checked in with her yet, but she sent me some Minnie Mouse sneakers, which are so cute. They're like this lilac-y fuchsia color um, with some mini on the side, on both sides, and then the back is all polka dots. So very, very cute. Um, she also sent me a, another pair of sneakers here. I'll show you. I put them on Instagram, and I'll probably put these on Instagram too. But she sent me these mint sneakers that are also so glittery and so pretty <laughs> um all, both of these are like so cute and beautiful and i'm like afraid to wear them <laughs> so i keep saying i'm like we need to go to disney because i'd be happy to wear those <laughs> around disney otherwise i'm going to have to just wear them if i like know i'm not going outside um because i don't want to ruin them they're really cute though i really like them so Thank you, mom, for my cute sneakers. Snowy! Snowy is very tired. We just had Harper over for like a week and she is conked out from how hard they've been playing. It's about 11.20 a.m. 
and I do want to get outside and go for a run pretty soon here, uh, probably around noon or 12.30, um, but I do want to do some more reading before I do that, so I am going to pick up The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai. Um, this will be the first novel that I'm picking up, and I'm feeling like I want to switch from short story mode to uh, long form novel mode, so this is going to be the first thing I pick up. So. We'll see um, how much I can get through in the next like 45 minutes or so, um, and then I'll get ready to go out on a run. Oh, would you want to come on a run with me, you think? Yeah? <laughs> I think she does. <laughs> Hello! It's a couple hours later. Went on my run, had a great time, um, showered, and now I am... I got the laundry in the back and on the side of me. I'm about to do laundry uh, for a couple of hours, so that will give me some good uninterrupted reading time because um, all I can do for the next few hours is just sit here and wait. <laughs> um, I also might go grab something to eat for lunch because I haven't eaten lunch yet and I am starving um, so I need to go get some food in me as well but lots of reading to be done. Um, I'm gonna read more of the dating plan and see how far I can get into that. <laughs> Tuesday morning. It's May 11th and it's my birthday today. I am out on my morning walk with the sniff machine. Snowy. Come on girl. Come on. Um, and it's a really nice day. It's a little chilly. It's a little windy uh, but the sun's shining. Not a cloud in the sky. So that's good. <laughs> it's about 8 30 or so. I just finished getting ready for the day and my plan for the day is to just do things that I like to do. I managed to get to page like 90 or so of the dating plan yesterday while I was waiting for my laundry. <laughs> um, and when I got home from doing laundry, I spent a lot of the night folding it. Um, I do have both my laundry and Brett's laundry to fold and because we go to the laundromat, we try to extend as long as possible between uh, when we are washing the laundry. Um, just because it takes a long time while we're there and stuff. So I usually wait about three weeks. So it's a lot of laundry. Um, so it just, it took up most of my afternoon and evening. So um, I didn't end up reading anything more after that. But now I have the day to myself. <laughs> Um, I think, so I'm walking snowy now. I think I'm gonna head over to Starbucks afterwards and get my birthday drink. I was looking at the secret Starbucks menu <laughs> online yesterday um, and I found a Cadbury egg frappuccino. So I might try to order that. I'm a little bit nervous to order it in person. <laughs> so I'm gonna order it on the mobile app <laughs> and see if it actually tastes like a Cadbury egg. We'll see, but. Uh, that's the plan for this morning. And then I think the only other thing that I really want to do today is I want to go over to Barnes and Noble and pick up two books that I'm interested in that actually released today. Um, I do have a Barnes and Noble gift card from like forever ago that I've never used. So I would really like to utilize that today and pick up those two books and maybe I'll pick up some more. <laughs> I actually went on a online book shopping spree on Sunday. So <laughs> I have a lot of books coming in for my birthday, but I also unhauled a ton of unread books that I'm just not interested in anymore. So making room for things that I'm actually interested in, which is, you know, the whole point of reading, being interested in the book. <laughs> um, but other than that, I think I'm just gonna chill. Um, Brett will come home from work at some point. Um, maybe we'll do something for dinner. I don't really know. I don't really know what the day has in store, but it will be a good day. <laughs> That's all that matters. All right, here is the Cadbury cream egg <laughs> frappuccino. It 
doesn't taste like a Cadbury cream egg, that's for sure. <laughs> I probably would have picked a different Frappuccino to go with. It recommend the Java Chip Frappuccino, but that makes it just taste like coffee. And Cadbury cream eggs don't taste like coffee, they taste like chocolate. So you'd probably want to go with like the chocolate one. I'll experiment with uh, it a little bit, but um, I'll put the what I ordered on the screen versus what the recipe is. Um, but I'm gonna tinker with this. This is quite an expensive drink. I think without the birthday <laughs> coupon, it's like almost $8. So, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it just fight it for financial reasons, but um, if you're looking for a Cadbury cream egg frappuccino, I don't think this is it. Um, so maybe next birthday I'll, I'll try to master it or if I have enough uh, rewards. I'll, I'll get another free one because I don't really want to pay eight dollars for this, but it's still good. It's just not Cadbury cream egg. It's very coffee flavored, um, but it's still delicious. So I was just hoping that it would taste more like a Cadbury cream egg than it does. All right, I'm back home. Got my drink. Got my water. <laughs> Picked up a bagel, a little B day bagel. And I'm going to settle in. I'm in the yard with Snowy. She's eating sticks, as she does. I'm gonna do some reading. Um, the sun feels really good. The wind is pretty chilly, but the sun feels really good. So I have my chair set up. I have my little table set up. Got backyard paradise going on. And we're going to read for a little bit, or at least until Snowy gets bored and we go inside. <laughs> and then I'll probably continue to read. Um, but I thought we'd enjoy some sunshine this morning. Brett's brought me out for birthday lunch with my giant margarita, taquitos, Brett got chimichanga, the life fresh. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm at Barnes and Noble and I am going to go ahead and see if I can find the two books that I wanna buy. I do have this really old <laughs> Barnes and Noble gift card that I haven't used, um, so I have $30 free dollars. Um, so I really wanna get People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, which came out today, and Cool for the Summer, which came out today um, by Dahlia Adler. Um, and so I'm gonna see if I can find them. And then if anything else pops out to me, I'm gonna grab that as well because, you know, it's Treat Yourself Day. Everybody's birthday, your birthday is Treat Yourself Day every year. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. <music> originally went to Barnes & Noble for two specific titles and that is Cool for the Summer by the Dahlia Adler. Dahlia Adler. <laughs> um, and then People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. These are the two that came out today and the ones that I was really excited to go and pick up so I'm glad that I found both of them and was able to get my hands on both of them. Um, these will be read very soon. I'm very excited to read both of these. And then I found quite a few more books. <laughs> that I'm excited to get to. Some of these I have heard of, but most of them are books that I had not heard of before and I'm just really excited to get to after reading the blurbs. Um, but this one is called The Surprising Power of a Good Dumpling. This is a study in culture and mental health, um, which I thought would be really interesting. The Gravity of Us, which is a queer YA romance um, that has to do with uh, parents who are astronauts as well. <laughs> so it sounded very interesting. Juliet Takes a Breath by Gabby Rivera. I've heard a lot of really fantastic things about this, um, but again, this is a queer YA romance um, and I've heard only good things about this. 
Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. I did not know that Marissa Meyer had released a YA contemporary novel, um, so I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Um, it does have some like supernatural, whimsical, magical elements to it. Um, however, it sounds really, really fun. So I'm excited to get to this. How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. Um, I read The Humans years ago and loved it. And I follow Matt Haig on social media and I really love everything that he does for advocating for better mental health care, essentially, um, and how mental illness is treated in society. And so I've always wanted to read more of his books. And every time it comes around to buying books, I just like never pick one up um, or buy it. So I wanted to read this one. Um, I want to read all of his books, honestly, but I found this one <laughs> at the store. Um, and this has to do with a man who has lived through years and years and years and years and he uh, is not allowed to fall in love and then he meets a French teacher and he starts to fall in love um, but because he's falling in love he might not be able to live eternally so this will be an interesting one to pick up I really want to read more of his stuff too he has a lot of um, fiction but he also has a lot of uh, nonfiction that is related to mental illness and the mental health. So I want to check that out as well. And then on top of those uh, books that I got from Barnes and Noble, I actually had a big book order <laughs> um, on Sunday. I bought a lot of books online. I pre-ordered a good handful of books, but I also got some in the mail today. They actually arrived today. I got uh, Take a Hint, Danny Brown and Actor Age Eve Brown, which are the second and third books in the Brown Sisters companion novel series. Um, so I'm excited to get to these ones. I really enjoyed uh, Chloe Brown, which I read in January. Um, so I wanna definitely read these some point soon. And then I also have been wanting to read this book for years and years and years and years, but it's 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I don't know what made me like go ahead and purchase it, um, but I really am feeling like I want to pick this up this summer. I feel like the summer is a good time of year to pick it up. I also ordered three more books from Book Depository, so <laughs> Those will come in the mail sometime soon. So between all of these books, what I got from Book Depository and what I pre-ordered, I have gotten myself quite a few books for my birthday. So I think I am all set <laughs> for a while. Um, but I am now inspired to jump back into reading for Bad of Books. I did read my two stories for Meet Cute for the day. Um, so I'm going to pick up the dating plan. I am feeling quite sleepy today. Um, I think I'm just uh, kind of decompressing <laughs> from working. Um, so I'm feeling kind of sleepy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chill, read my book. If I doze off, I doze off. Maybe take a little nap ski. Um, I have gotten myself some chips and guac because I clearly did not get enough at the uh, restaurant earlier. Um, and so I'll probably just snack and read and see where the rest of the day takes me. Good morning. It is Wednesday the 12th. Yesterday I spent the rest of the day just chilling. I was like really, really tired yesterday. Um, so I was just letting myself be tired and just kind of lazed around a bit. Did a little bit of reading, um, and we got burgers for dinner from Five Guys. Watched some of the old seasons of The Challenge on Paramount Plus, and then went to bed. It was a pretty, very, it was a very low-key birthday. Um, not a lot of plans, but I had to work for most of the day. Um, but, you know, it was a good, it was a good birthday for sure. Um, did a lot of things that I like to do, which is good. Right now I'm just hanging out on the beanbag with the little girl. She's a little sleepy this morning. She woke me up to take her out, but like while we were outside, all she wanted to do was like sit down on my feet. So <laughs> we came back inside. I think she's really tired too. Goals for today include just continuing to read. If possible, I would like to finish the dating plan today. I haven't been uh, reading a lot of it. I haven't been gravitating toward it. It's not like my favorite thing to pick up right now. Um, it's enjoyable though. So if I can, I'd like to finish it today. Um, I feel like out of the last two days, I've been pretty like busy and in and out of the house. Whereas today, I don't really have 
too much that's pulling me away. Snowy does have a vet appointment today to get some of her uh, shots updated. Um, and then I do have to hop on a call with some students this evening. But other than that, I don't really have much going on. So I think we might try to go to the dog park <laughs> today at some point. Um, but other than that, I just really want to focus on reading. Um, and it's pretty early in the morning. It's like 7.30 or so. So I think for the next few hours, I'm just going to chill, read the dating plan. Maybe snooze a little more. Um, yeah. Been a very very chilled relaxed vacation that's for sure hello um so it's a bit later i'm back <laughs> on the bean bag uh with snowy who's still sleeping it looks like i didn't move but i just changed my clothes um <laughs> but we went to the park um came back uh it's like 11 30 ish and doing a bunch of reading of the dating plan um and i am about 215 pages in um, so I have like a little over 120 pages left. So I think finishing this today is totally doable. Um, I <laughs> had a moment, I was reading at the park and it, I was reading a scene where the two main characters are at a hockey game. And as somebody who is a hockey fan, <laughs> uh, I was really perturbed because, uh, they had indicated that uh, the score was two to one heading into halftime. Halftime. If you're a hockey fan, you know that that is wrong. There is no halftime in hockey. <laughs> there are three periods of play with two intermissions. It's not halftime. <laughs> And they said it a second time, too. They indicated halftime a second time. So I'm like, if you're gonna write a scene that is specifically set somewhere, <laughs> especially if it's at a sporting event or something where, like, your reader is probably going to know or some of your readers will probably know, like, those are the kinds of things that, like, take me out of the story. I'd be like, and just be like, oh, I'm in a book. <laughs> And the author clearly doesn't know <laughs> that there is no halftime in hockey. So those are the things that are just like little details that always take me out of like the reading experience a little bit. So it's cute. It's a, it's a fun story. Um, and I only have, like I said, about 120-ish pages left. So I'm going to keep on chugging along and uh, see how far I can get. Eventually I'll eat some lunch. And then keep reading. Hello. Uh, it is quite a bit later. It's quarter to five. And I did end up finishing The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai. My first book of About a Books. And I'm giving it a three. It was okay. Um, I didn't love the romance between the two leads. I, like, no, no particular reason why. It just seemed... Like, I didn't fall in love with their love, if that made sense. Um, but what I did really enjoy in this book is the family dynamic. Both families of our two romantic leads are very involved in their lives um, and their relationship. <laughs> and I really liked that. Um, so I'm going to be giving it a three because it was uh, just an okay read for me. Nothing that I was swooning over. I really enjoy contemporary in romance. Um, I think it's a lot of fun to read, but uh, I feel like sometimes it takes a lot to really knock it out of the park for me. <laughs> so three star for this. It's a fun read. It's a really fun read. Um, so definitely give it a shot if you're looking for something that's light and fluffy, because that's definitely this. Um, but it wasn't my favorite thing in the world. Easy as that. <laughs> my hair looks insane right now. So it's almost five, so I'm gonna start cooking dinner. I actually have a meeting with my students at six, um, even though I'm on vacation, um, I told them that I would be present for this call um, because they're trying to uh, identify who to interview for the vacant positions on their board. Um, and sometimes you just gotta roll with it. <laughs> when you work with college students or really any level of student, you really just have to kind of be on their schedule and be flexible as much as you can. I really am a advocate of like, if you're taking time off, that time should be off. However, there are some 
instances where you you need to be present for your students in particular um so that's what i'm doing tonight um it shouldn't take too long it should only be at most like maybe an hour um but i don't predict that it would take that long and then brett and i need to brett is actually studying for a certification exam um and so i've been helping him with that so we need to do some studying tonight um and then after that i'll be free again to do more reading um, i'm probably going to read my two stories from meet cute i have not read any of my flannery o'connor stories um so maybe if i get through these two tonight and i feel like reading some more i'll read one of those and then i need to start on my next novel which is going to be the anomaly and i don't have it right here to show you guys but <laughs> I will be reading that over the next couple of days. And that is a book that I have an audiobook for from the library, which will be good because I really need to, over the next few days, get that quilt that I've been telling you guys about done. So tomorrow I think I'm going to go to the fabric store and pick out fabric and I'm going to do some sewing. So um, definitely we'll be using the audiobook to get me through the day tomorrow and through the rest of that project um, because Brett's nephew's birthday is on Saturday, and that is part of his birthday gift, so I gotta get it done. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my really crazy hair. It's on another level, this is vacation hair. <laughs> um, and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Good morning. Snowy, good morning. She doesn't love the vlog. <laughs> good girl. Oh, thank you. It is Thursday the 13th and um, Snowy and I just got back from a little walk. I wanted to check in, let you guys know that I did end up starting my next book on the walk. Um, I started reading The Anomaly by Michael Rucker um, and it's interesting so far. Um, Obviously, everything's being established currently. I think I'm about 45 pages into it. I have a pretty... I'm feeling like the first symptoms of a, a migraine, which is not fun. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, take some medicine, eat some breakfast, feed the girl. What are you doing? Snowy! What are you doing? <laughs> then at some point this morning, I need to go over to the fabric store and pick up some fabric. And um, I want to do a run today. I haven't run since Monday, so I want to do like a little run with Snowy probably, and then do some reading. Um, I have the audiobook of The Anomaly, like I've been saying, which is going to be helpful, um, and uh, hopefully that will let me burn through a lot of it today. Uh, I'll be listening to it while I'm out shopping, I'll be listening to it while I'm like sewing, things like that, so um, that helps a lot. And then... Um, I also need to read Meet Cute. I only read one story yesterday, um, but that's okay because I finished a whole book. A whole book was finished yesterday. So yeah, it is Thursday, day four of the readathon. Uh, hope that this uh, headache doesn't get too out of control um, when you deal with chronic migraines. Uh, you know how to sense them and I'm feeling kind of gross in my head. It's feeling a little like, I don't know how to describe it, but I just can, I can feel it. Like there's no pain necessarily yet, like a little bit, but like I feel like really like woozy and kind of dizzy. And so I'm like, I feel like this is a headache coming on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some medicine, eat some breakfast, hydrate, uh, maybe drink a kombucha as well hopefully prevent this from happening. I actually also got, I don't know if I showed you guys, but my friend Erin sent me a couple birthday gifts. Um, first, she sent me a waffle button from Parks and Recreation. Give me all the bacon and eggs you have. <laughs> and then she also sent an eye massager, which she also deals with chronic migraines. And she said that this is a lifesaver in the first stages of a headache, so maybe. <laughs> If it gets to that point, I will try the eye massager and I'll let you guys know what I think. But um, it's the morning. Just trying to get my day started um, and I'll check in with you guys throughout the day. Good morning. Happy Friday. It is the 14th today. 
And this week is just kind of flying by, which I was kind of hoping it wouldn't. I hope it would kind of drag itself out, but you know, it's what happens when you're on vacation. <laughs> Snowy and I are on our morning walk and sniff. She's very interested in this plant. And we're, we're heading into the weekend, heading into the last few days of this vacation. It is absolutely gorgeous out today. It's going to be in the mid 70s, sunny, beautiful, love it. <laughs> um, so I'm very, very excited about that. I'll probably be spending a lot of time outside reading because of the temperature. Um, it has been super sunny and super gorgeous all week, but it's been a little bit on the chilly side where it's like you wanna be outside, but the wind kind of makes it like not the most pleasant experience to be outside. So today is gonna be different. It's gonna be very warm. I got shorts on and sandals on. <laughs> so I'm very excited for summer to finally get here. <laughs> Yesterday wasn't the best um, in terms of my mental health. <laughs> I definitely wasn't feeling that great. Um, so I didn't vlog that much. I did, I didn't read that much. I did catch up on my uh, short story reading in Meet Cute. Um, and I did listen to a bunch of the anomaly on audio. Um, but I mean, I didn't really spend a lot of my time reading. Um, what I did yesterday is I edited my Run to Escape vlog, which is now live on my channel, which was one of my goals for this week is to get that video up. And that I feel like editing just takes me a really long time <laughs> in general. Um, so that took up a lot of the day. I took Snowy to the dog park. I went and I got the fabric for our nephew's quilt, um, which I need to put together today. <laughs> um, we're seeing him on Sunday. So I need to put that the rest of that together today. So that will probably be a lot of my evening, I think. I want to spend the day outside as much as possible. Um, so. I think this evening I'll definitely be working on that. Um, I went for a run, which is which is something I wanted to do yesterday, and I helped Brett with a little bit of his studying yesterday. So um, not a lot of like room for reading, um, but that's okay because I just you know sometimes you're just not in the headspace to do it. Um, I'm definitely feeling a lot better today, um, which is good. So and I think. The weather also is playing a huge factor in that. Um, every morning I'll wake up and ask my Google Home, like, what's the forecast going to be? Um, and when she said high of 76, I think today, I was just so excited to get up and start the day. Once we get back from our walk, we're actually gonna go over to our fave donut shop, which I'm not sure if I've shared on a vlog yet, but there's this donut shop that's not too far from us um, called Basic Batch Donuts. Um, it's located in Milford, Massachusetts. So if you're ever in this area, you should go and check it out. But they make incredible donuts. <laughs> I feel like I post them on my Instagram all the time, um, but they're so cool. Um, and we haven't been getting them lately because I know Brett's trying to eat healthier um but they're really good and i'm like mm, it's my birthday week so i'm just gonna go get some donuts for myself and we'll probably go get a coffee and then head on home and then like i said today it was probably gonna be spent well, doing lots of reading spending time outside we'll probably make a trip to the dog park and then we'll be doing some quilting later um so today should be a good day i'm really excited i'm looking forward to it by the way do you like my shirt it says I'd love to, but my dog said no. <laughs> Although I don't think Snowy would say no to much. Brett's mom got it for me for Christmas. <laughs> it's one of my favorite t-shirts. <laughs> Here are the spoils of our donut trip. <laughs> These look so incredible. Um, so this is the chocolate toffee. This is whoopie pie, which I think I'm the most excited about. Like, look at that. Hello. Um, we have blueberry lemon, and then we have lemon poppy seed. Lemon was the big theme this month at Basic Batch. Also got myself an iced coffee. And because I'm about to fill myself with a lot of sugar, <laughs> I think I'm going to also make myself a smoothie with some greens in it. 
because I need to pretend like I'm a human being that needs nutrients. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get one of those made up. And then uh, I think Snowy and I, Snowy wants to go outside and I do too. It's really nice out. So um, I think we're gonna load up the books and load up all the food and the smoothie and go hang out in the backyard for the morning because it is so beautiful. All right, we are out in the backyard. We got smoothie, we got water, we got coffee, and I brought out some of the donuts I did half of the whoopie pie and half of the lemon poppy seed to try while I'm out here chilling in the sun. It is honestly so gorgeous. Um, so let's do some reading. two stories of meet cute and I am so intrigued <laughs> I am almost on page 200 and I just got to a big twist and I am hooked <laughs> I am really really enjoying this this is um it's a thriller and um it's kind of like a claustrophobic thriller. It's about people who are trapped in a cave and I find those kind of thrillers to be the most effective um, in when people get into situations that they, they literally can't escape due to circumstances outside of their control. I really like, um, you know, thrillers that like take place in like snowstorms and like things like that. So this is like my kind of thriller and the cast of characters i i feel like i really like them and i really like to connect with them they both they all have like really great personalities and i just got to this twist right before chapter 35 so if you've read it before there's a big twist <laughs> right before chapter 35. it made me audibly gasp and say what the hell <laughs> so that's how you know like a a thriller is well written so I'm really enjoying it um, it's about 340 right now so I'm gonna read a little bit more of this and then I'm gonna get going on um, the quilt and we'll probably continue listening to it as I'm sewing but really enjoying this hello it's quite a bit later um, it's like 930 945 I don't really have a clock in sight of where I am but um, one thing I did not expect to happen today happened, and I finished The Anomaly <laughs> by Michael Rucker. Um, this book is full of, like, really short chapters, um, and that really helps, uh, you read a book quickly, at least it does for me. Um, and there were a lot of twists and turns, and this book was really weird. <laughs> And I was really enjoying it, um, and I ended up giving it four stars. It was a really fun read. I didn't really know what I was expecting. Um, uh, like, really all I knew was that this group of people were, were trapped in a cave, and that was all I knew. <laughs> um, but it's a thriller. There's lots of weird turns in here. Um, if you want a book that has a lot of twists, this is one of them. Um, so definitely recommend. This is really fun. Um, I have a feeling like, I feel like my dad would really like this book. We're gonna go visit my parents in a couple of weeks, um, and so I think I might bring this to him because I feel like he might really enjoy it. So, uh, four stars. Really liked it. Um, pick it up if you're looking for something that's really fast because I was on page 82 this morning, uh, when I started the day, and this is a 340 page book. <laughs> So I read quite a lot of pages today. Um, I feel like I literally like sat down to do like a little bit of reading and then I, my plan was, as you all know, my plan, my plan was to work on this quilt 
for our nephew um, and that didn't happen because I just spent the entire afternoon reading this book because I wanted to know what happened next. I haven't had a book like that in a really long time so really happy with that. I do have one more day to get this quilt done and it will get done tomorrow because that's going to be my main priority of the day. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that uh, I could listen to the anomaly and do my quilt but that clearly didn't happen. I was having too much fun reading the physical book. <laughs> um, and I don't have another audiobook for the rest of my TBR. So tomorrow when I'm sewing, I won't have any opportunity to read. However, I will still be reading uh, my two stories for Meet Cute. And I'm also going to be starting Last Summer at the Golden Hotel by Alyssa Friedland. Um, I might start it right now. Um, and just kind of like see what I think about it. I'm really excited for this one. And uh, it'll be nice to hop back into a contemporary uh, after a really, really weird thriller. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm gonna do now before bed. I've been having a headache pretty much all day. I had a headache yesterday when I woke up, so I'm just really headachey lately. So I just took some more meds and I'm gonna read a little bit before I go to sleep. Tomorrow is for sewing. I've been saying all week that I'd be working on this quilt. Tomorrow it's actually gonna happen. <laughs>
I really liked uh, The Way We Love Here by Danielle Clayton. I really liked Oomph by em Emery Lord. I really liked The Dictionary of You and Me by Jennifer L. Armentrout, who is the person who edited this anthology. Really enjoyed The Unlikelihood of Falling in Love by Jocelyn Davies. I really liked 259 Million Miles by Cass Morgan and The Department of Dead Love by Nicola Yoon. So really like all of the stories in the very middle of the anthology I really enjoyed um, and the last one in the anthology I really enjoyed. There were some other really good ones here and there um, but those I think were my favorite ones. Um, so I'm gonna give it four stars. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's really cute if you're looking for something that's really easy breezy to pick up definitely uh, go for Me Cute. It's been a very long time since I've read an anthology of short stories, so uh, I'm really glad that I enjoyed it and it reminded me that I need to check out more of them. So that being said, the last book on my TBR is Last Summer at the Golden Hotel. I did start this the other day. I only got about 50 pages into it, but really liking it so far. Lots of setup happening. Um, I also <laughs> have this, which I didn't touch at all this week, um, but I'm going to make it a goal to read the rest of this this summer. Um, I just need to, you know, see if I can reach for it. Um, this is again another short story collection of Flannery O'Connor's, all of her short stories, um, so I need to, you know, start chipping away at this. Didn't touch it at all this week. <laughs> it happens. Um, so I'm gonna work on that this summer, um, and then this is the last novel on my TBR for about a book 31. Um, Today we are actually going to a little family party. Um, so that's gonna take up most of my afternoon and probably into early evening. But when we do get back, um, I'm going to probably hunker down with this guy and see how much I can get rid of it. I definitely don't think I'm gonna finish it. Um, you know, you never know what might happen. I didn't think I was gonna finish the anomaly as fast as I did, but <laughs> here we are. Um, but I definitely wanna get at least a little bit more of this done. Uh, today and then um, I'll probably bring it into the next week with me um, and hopefully finish it sometime in the following week. So we're off to a family party this afternoon um, and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, we're seeing some family members that we haven't seen uh, for over a year because they live out in LA so they've traveled over here so we're gonna go and get to hang out with them. So it's gonna be a fun day. It's gorgeous out. It's gonna be it's gonna feel like summertime which will be a lot of fun so I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Mm. Hello everybody, it is uh, the following day, it's Monday, and Bout of Books is officially over. <laughs> I'm just on the beanbag with a little snowball right here. Um, and I just wanted to wrap up this vlog um, and let you know how I fared through the entire readathon. Um, so through last week, I was able to finish three books, which is the most books that I've finished in a very long time. Um, so I finished The Dating Plan, gave it three stars. I finished The Anomaly and gave it four stars. And I finished Meet Cute and I also gave it four stars. Um, so a great week of reading. Um, I did end up reading like 25 more pages of last summer at the Golden Hotel um, and I am really enjoying it so far and like I said I am going to be reading it throughout this next week um, so I'm looking forward to continuing on with this um, it's I can already tell it's gonna be like a great family kind of comedic drama a dramedy if you will um, so I'm looking forward to that and it's gonna be a great setting of being at like a uh, vacation summer kind of like resort that is failing <laughs> and there's gonna be a lot of secrets and stuff that come out so I'm about 100 pages into this really really liking it and I can't wait to continue on um, but that's gonna do it for this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it I will be posting more reading vlogs coming up here pretty soon I have a couple of ideas in mind so be on the lookout for more reading vlogs from me um, but if you enjoyed this one please leave a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys again in the next one bye